Hi, Chris here for Denke Tech and welcome to the channel. And today it's the Arduino series, Build a Traffic Light. So let's get started now. Yes, it is different. Glad that you noticed I did tidy up a little bit. However, you can notice that the ED LED does not light up. Only the Kinhai have noticed that here, the onboard LED blinks or works. And this is only because I changed the Arduino connections. The code, however, is still the same. It has not been changed. It's the original. Well, basically it works. You don't have to worry. The only things we have to do, okay, this is the purpose that I show you this, is to find out how you can troubleshoot. I did touch a little bit on that on the previous video, but this one will be a little bit more in depth. So as you can see here, I removed the connection and see if it was because we were on pin 13 and it was the correct ground because you don't know why I move everything to the main power on the Arduino. Okay, I will come uh, to that later on. For now, the only things that we have to do is I change already to pin 13, but it still remains the same. Hmm. So I will put it back to the main connection to the ground it still does not work. But the onboard, let me switch to the overview camera. The onboard, as you can see, still works. Where should I move them? Oh, you remember we changed the pin number. Our boss, <laughs> for those who follow, will remember, asked us to change to pin number one. So, well, it was eight, but I did change to one. However, doesn't matter. Let's put it to pin 1 and see that it works first. And then we will reset everything to what I wanted to explain to you on this video. And it's how to make our traffic light. So we change this to pin number 1. With the ground, doesn't matter if it's where it is now or on the main. It will still work as, as long as the circuits, it's closed. The loop of the circuit, it's closed then it will work. So there we are. Dot 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 dash 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 dot dot dot. Now, however, if I switch everything back to the main power, you will see that the light will light up. And this is normal. It's because it's a closed circuit. There is a power going from the plus into the LED, through the resistor and back to the Arduino. It's very simple. But if you look on the Arduino itself, then the sketch is still on. And this is normal. Now, if you want to reset, you will look at the LED here. If we want to reset, just press the button. You see there is a delay and the sketch restart from scratch. Because when you plug it in, you might be in between the, in the middle of the loop, sorry. And this, well, depending on what sketch you have, doesn't work. So I show you again one more time. Look at the LED when I press, it stops. If I remove my finger, it will start again. Just as a reminder, this LED here, when I will release the button, will blink. It will reset. Then the sketch will resume and the LED turn on. And the green LED there, this basically just to tell you that the Arduino is on. Now I'm going to turn off the uh, Arduino because we are going to plug the LEDs for our traffic lights. So here we have our yellow LED. Let me make it focus, like so. All right. With the matching resistor, you can see the color scheme. I hope you can stay here. Let's focus and put it nearer. So you can see the color here, red, red, maroon, and gold. Okay. We will touch this in another uh, video, more in depth, but basically this is a 200 ohm 2220 home resistor, uh, 2, 2, and the brown is 0, but whatever. And I bend it, the lead, as you can see here, I bend the lead, and those lead is to make it easier to put it like so. Although it's not bent properly, uh, like so. And we will put like the green LED, so this is the cathode and the anode. The anode goes in the plus 
and the cathode will match in the same row as the resistor. For more information, simply look in the link down below. This was in a previous video on the subject of the LEDs. We can make them match like so. We manage two LEDs down. Now it's time to go to the third one. This is the red LED with the matching resistor once again and we will do the same. I tried to do with my bulky finger this time but I'm not sure you will see anything. That's why I used earlier the tweezer and it's easier for me. So reminder, cathode and anode. So I flip it over, put it like so. Uh, if I can, yes. All right, so now we have our traffic light, if I may so, say so. Okay. Back to the audio, we are going to do the code now. So here we are in a sketch. For those who didn't know what this is about, just look at my previous video on the subject. It's about the variables. I'm not going to touch on it. So this is uh, our sketch. We want to change it to traffic light. And I can copy this and paste it when I save as traffic light, right? And I don't want to save it in this folder here because every time Arduino will create a new folder. Now, as you can see, we have the blink, the Morse code, and we have the traffic light. So I save it. What do we want to do? To turn on the green LED. Green LED connected to pin so if we look at our Arduino, we can connect to any pin from 1 to 13. So we will do pin 2, pin 6, and yes, we can do 8 for this one. And it's not the onboard LED. This was the previous sketch that I forgot to remove. Connected to pin 8. All right, we are not going to blink. We are going to turn it on for one second, like so. Then we will copy this again. And I paste it. Because this time I want to blink three times before turning it off. So, I know it sounds complicated, but bear with me. Uh, then blinking three times and turn it off. Off for maybe five seconds. I will try like this. Then I just have to copy this and paste it here. Turn on the yellow LED. Uh, connected to pin six. We will turn it on. Actually, normally the yellow LED blinks. So should we make it blink to vary a little bit? But we will complicate it later. All right, we will just do like so. Here we change it to yellow. Uh, we will just do one like so. And now we do the red LED. All right. Uh, how are we? Yes, because here we need to have a the asterisk and it's best to put all the same like this is not too confusing all right so turn on the red led connected to pin 2 you can connect to any pins eh? of course as i did say earlier and here it's pin 2 again and yes we didn't change here to pin 6 so you have two choices here either you don't put this but i always uh, strongly advise you to do so like this, if somebody takes your sketch, he knows what you expect to do. And if it doesn't work, it can even help you uh, based on what you wrote and want to do to correct the sketch for you. Uh, the community is uh, quite nice on that uh, sense. Okay, this is the other command. We can leave it like that. How many pins we have? We have one, huh? the green, the yellow, and the red. And you see here, I didn't change again. 
like so. Integer LED pin, we can do LED green. In pin 8. Right. Uh, we copy this. We don't need the float for now. Okay. So we have this one will be the yellow. And this one will be on pin 6. And we had one more which is on pin 2 and it's the red one the dot this was basically the turn on led okay so we put on here like so uh, and we say for 5 seconds so 5 seconds it's uh, milliseconds the dash it's the blinking the time we can leave it at 800 i didn't change it here but it was for the dash of well, the dashes <laughs> uh, it was at uh, here we leave it at 100 but it's just because i didn't change it and nobody tells me anything again and then we will have a long wait in between uh, each loops so let's try pin mode LED pin is our output, but we don't have LED pin. We have LED green, LED yellow. I forgot the W. Ah, there, I don't know how to propel yellow anymore. Did we copy this? Uh, copy. All right. So this one, it will be high. Uh, digital right, LED green high turn on the pin 8 for the led the delay we put on uh, digital write the led pin on control v it's the led green huh? so we do the blinking is too long maybe we do off off and we put here delay off this is on set is not millisecond, it's just second now. And it's five seconds on the delay here. All right. Uh, the delay off, set the delay to this one here. It's uh, 0.8 millisecond. because it's not really one second. A thousand is one second, so that's why 0.8 milliseconds. All right, so we have these. We can just control and copy here. Control V, control V. All right. So now this is the LED yellow. Hi, turn on the LED pin six. This time on and the delay set for five seconds. Here it's six or so. So we just do like this for now, right? I delete all this. I just keep the long wait. The reason why I do so is to show you what this will do if we do like that. I know it's wrong already. <laughs> all right. So bear with me. Uh, this is pin two. This is pin two. Still 8 milliseconds, and this is red. Here. What we did is turn on the green LED for 5 seconds, turn off the green LED for 8 milliseconds. Here, normally it's like this, it's then, but since it's in the loop, everything will be done at the same time. Okay, so that's what I want you to see and understand. Okay, so it's turn on the yellow LED in pin 6 for 5 milliseconds, then turn it off for 8 milliseconds, and the same will go for the red LED. Right? We test the sketch. There is something wrong. Did you see what we did wrong? We forgot to declare the LED pin. 
this is only the void loop. So it's green LED. Basically, what we forgot to do is to set up the LED as output. So I can copy this one, Control Copy, because we have three LED. We declare here. That's why it says there is an error. Enter, Control V, Enter, and Control V. We can set everything to the same, like so. Green LED. Oh, it's not green LED, by the way. Nobody says anything to me. Oh, so I cut this one, paste it there. The, this one, delete, yellow, and I will try to spell it correctly this time. Wow, I'm so good. Did I went to school or what? Anyway, a red one now. There it is. So, shall we test the sketch? Hmm. It doesn't like it. Why is that LED green? Oh, did you see what I did? That's what I did. I didn't write the same name. But if you want full de details, if you want full details, just look in the previous video. Now it's the correct code, you see? I just have to plug in and send it to the Arduino. There we are. So if I plug in the Arduino, I can tell you that all the light will turn on. You see? What should we do now? Remove all the LEDs and put them here. Remove all of, of the resistors. Remove everything. Disconnect the Arduino. We simply put to the minus. And the, this one here. Take the LED. Okay. So we have cathode, anode, like so. You see we bridge here. You can uh, watch my video on the breadboard for that. And here, oh, I plug the wrong one. It's supposed to be the green one. Yeah? All right. I do the same for the yellow LEDs. I put it here. And I put it here. Like so. So, still the same. And we are doing the yellow one this time. We are on P6. There it is. And for this one here, we put it in here and in there. Mm. Sorry. For the last one, we put it in here. You notice here I put it in the wrong one? Should be here. Mm. And then I put it in here. And then I put the LED and I put the wire. Okay, we have this one here. This one. We have to wait five seconds. The yellow one. Oh, you see what I did? 
the yellow one doesn't work because it's not plugged properly. Okay, five seconds. It will turn off. But how come it stays on? It is not supposed to stay on. What did we do wrong? Let's go back to the sketch and find out. We can still check the sketch, but as before, he will tell us that it is correct. There is nothing wrong with the sketch. What's wrong? Basically, it's the spelling. So we will start by the two lesser mistakes. That doesn't matter really, but for the sake of this video, I will show you. And it's this here. Basically, we didn't put the yellow LED in pin 8. We put it to pin 6. So let's change that. And of course, the red LED is not in pin 6, but in pin 2. So let's change that also. So those are the two minor ones. And I use the word minor because basically those are just the command to tell people what we are doing. Now, the one who doesn't make our sketch works the way we want, it's this one. Basically, what he does, he just turn off the LED, but the yellow one is already turned on, so it will stay on. That's as simple as that. So we will change this and we will put it to yellow LED, send it to the Arduino and check if it works correctly or not. Here we are on the Arduino. I already uploaded the code. As you can see, it works. Let me just adjust the LED here. <laughs> A little bit of CD doesn't hurt. And that's it. We managed to do our sketch. Next week, we will try to do like in some countries where the LED blinks before it switches to the other color. I hope that you do like this video. If you do, you can do your YouTube things. Press like, subscribe. You can even press the bell button if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. However, if you do not like this video, leave a comment down below and tell me why you do not like it. I will do my best to improve it and make it better for you. Anyway, stay safe guys and bye now.